Do you know Ubuntu 25.04 has been released? Lucky Puffin. Well, after a long time, Ubuntu has finally released a new update of the Linux distro and yeah, this one is actually great. There are a lot of updates and yet, Ubuntu 25.04 is not even released in beta channel. It's currently in the daily builds and I was just too curious and impatient that I downloaded the daily builds. Yep, I did. And today we're gonna explore it, so let's get started, shall we? So here we are in the Ubuntu Linux distro and the first change is, for obviousness, you can see this beautiful, awesome installer. So let's just get started. I must say the UI and the graphics is just awesome here. Well, I believe I'll not connect to the internet here. I'm gonna install Ubuntu. So we have two options now, interactive installation or automated with auto file. For advanced users who have an auto install.yaml. If you don't know about it, it's just like creating a twin or just installing the same distribution with same specifications, same applications in multiple computers. So let's just go on with interactive one, which is the default one. And then I'm gonna go for the extended selection. Now I'd like to install third party applications and media formats. And there is the real deal of this update. How do you want to install Ubuntu? Now we have an option for manual, but let me just show you the update. This one. We have advanced features for installing. No, let me just correct myself. For erasing a disk and installing Ubuntu or it if it was a dual booting system, then you could see the dual booting option as well. So the dual boot has been upgraded along with there are some advanced features implemented in, you know, the complete whole disk erase installation medium of Ubuntu. So let's just go on with nothing because I literally am not going to do anything. Now we can, I must say one thing and I really want to say it. Ubuntu has really done a great job in the UI. Now, let me just fill in the forms. Do I really have to use a password? There we go. Next and it's auto selected now this is something which is really really great we have a summary of our installation now we choose the general installation setup with erase disk installation which means erasing the complete hard disk along with all the data in it and then making a proper fresh installation of ubuntu then we have the you know targeted disk which is right now virtual box then we have application which is the full version then we have security things like disk, disk inscription, which I chose none, proprietary drivers and codecs, and then the partitioning. That's it. Now, I was wondering, shall I install the whole thing? Well then, let's just do it. Now, I must appreciate the graphics, the UI, the user experience is just awesome. Ubuntu has done a really great job in making the distribution better and better every year. Yes, it is true that the snaps actually almost destroyed Ubuntu, but now snaps are considered pretty great for privacy and security of applications and stuff. So as of I can see, it is currently downloading some packages and stuff. Well, I can disconnect it. Shall I disconnect? Yes, I am going to disconnect. Now, as you can see, it was not able to download every stuff, but the installation is pretty smart. It will get back on track and install the system ASAP. And now I'll meet you when the installation process is done. All right, scene ratio nine and we're done. Now looking at the welcome screen, then yep, it looks pretty good. Next, no, I don't want to share any data. Well, app center has been updated as well. We'll take a look at later. Now, as I'm looking at the desktop, first thing first, the desktop is pretty polished, like literally pretty polished. Like really, the user interface, the user design is pretty good. No, and just starting it, I have a problem. Well, remember it's a daily build. It's not even beta. Uh-huh. Well, just don't send. All right then, so here we are. And looks like they have gone a little different than GNOME 48. As you can see, in GNOME, it used to be a single pill. But here, it's been separated. Well, not that pretty different, but still. Now let's just get to the fun parts, shall we? And now let's start with the major highlight, which actually is in the settings. Let me just make it a little bigger, but not that big because I don't want to just maximize it. Now here in particular, we have a new section of well-being, which actually shows us the screen time 
Now, this feature was really needed in Linux. Even Windows has this. Now, I get that Linux is supposed to be very productive and you don't need to check your well-being, but just think about those who must check their screen time. Those so-called productive users, they can or may use the computer for way long than they should. And that is why it's important. Now, checking out these things, then we have a screen time limit as well. Now, this is something good. And then we have break reminders. For example, the eyesight reminds to look away from the screen. Then movement reminders, which suggest you to move around from your computer. Now, leaving that, we have some new updates in the battery section as well. So, if we go to this power section, power saving, now, the power mode of power saving mode has been optimized in order to limit almost a lot of stuff along with increasing the lifespan of the battery. Now, that is something beyond. Like, till now, it just used to limit the system resources, but now it can actually limit the amount of battery which will be charged in order to increase the lifespan. That is great. And if we are here, let's just, you know, customize the desktop. And about that, we have new beautiful backgrounds as well. Just check this one out. All right, man, this looks awesome. Then this one. Okay, this one also looks gorgeous. But let's say if you're a minimalist, then this one also does a pretty great job. It shows the transition of Ubuntu from one logo to another, then another. And then we have this cute bird. It's not even a bird, it's, what do we call it, the children of birds. I don't remember, but leaving that, we have another good wallpaper. Take a look at this one. The Plucky Puffin. Yeah, right. Distribution's name is Plucky Puffin, and so you're, you're actually seeing a Plucky Puffin. That's beautiful. But in particular, this one. Well, leaving that, I'd like to set this one up here, along with some better. Well, let's just leave it to the orange color here. Now, besides that, we have the Ubuntu desktop in which we can change a few things. And I believe everything's pretty good already. Now, about something. Here we have GNOME 48, latest or the greatest version of GNOME. That is also good. And now let's get to even a more fun part, which is new applications. Finally, starting with, we have a new PDF software, which is called Papers. If I type papers um did i do something well let's just download a pdf first in order to open it how can i forget let's just go on with cbse mathematics pdf sample paper well my mathematics exam is coming very very soon so here i am like really this is a government site and firefox is telling me that the government site has potential security risk ahead wow well maybe there is who knows Maybe Firefox needs to work on that. Now here is a PDF and it's currently opened in Firefox. So let me just download it. Let's just save it in documents, save. And now let's just go to the files, which is not any more than Nautilus document. There it is. Now let's just double click it and here we are. So this is the PDF Weaver application and it's still document Weaver. I heard or Ubuntu officially stated that they were going to use papers, but it looks like the version I have does not have papers here. And now besides that, looks like I have a few software updates as well, which are of literally 8 KBs, so install it now. Now leaving that, I have another update. Well, yeah, how can I forget? The good old security center from the last update. And right now, it only has this experimental require app to ask system permissions option only. Because I'm right now in a virtual box, so for obviousness, it's, it is secure. And now I heard there's an update in GNOME Web, but looks like I don't have that right now, so I'm going to download it. sudo apt install GNOME Web. Password? Okay, I forgot. The name has been changed to Epiphany. And there it is. And the installation is done, so let's just open that app, which should be around here and there. Let me just search for Epiphany. Wait. What the heck was that? Was it a scam of a sort? Let's just search that on the app center. It was supposed to install the Debian version of GNOME Web. 
but instead I got scammed by some silly game. Yeah, talking about game, we have official Steam from Canonical and not to forget so many other games as well. Yeah, about that. In the App Center, there has been a big update. Not that big, but still a pretty big update, which is we're here seeing the top applications in the field, which are, as you can see right now, Discord, Steam, Minecraft, how can you forget, Zero AD. Then we have creative applications here as well, along with a lot of others. Now, one thing I literally love about Ubuntu is that it provides most of the very popular and usable applications directly to its store. As you can see, we have Android Studio directly from the official Snapcrafters. And if you go to the section of games, then we can find a lot of good games. Well, leaving this what's hot section. And then we have a complete set of emulators as well. Then we have KD Games Cute. Then we have Gnome's Game Suite. Then Game Launches. And this is the one. This is the favorite part. Content creation, which I love, Kaden Live. If someone asks me which is the most powerful and awesome video editor, which is the most stable as well and completely free, open source, I will definitely suggest Kaden Live. Now, talking about that, you have two options whether to install the Debian version or the Snap version. So, right now, as you can see, it is the Snap. No, it's the Debian version. You can just tell it by looking at the size of the download. If it's less, then it's Debian. If it's more than much is supposed to be, then it's definitely Snap. Let's say you want to install Steam. Wait, I wonder what is in the Gnome game suit. All right, the old retro games from Gnome. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty okay. Yeah, I literally forgot why I went to the App Center for searching Gnome web. Nothing. Let's just go on with web. Something. A lot of thing let's just go on with epiphany there it is the gnome web i was searching for and it is 157 mb which is way more than it is supposed to be so it's obviously a snap application and that is why i was not able to properly install it from the terminal well let's just leave that and let me show you the another update which is a new linux kernel which is faster more efficient and optimized for higher end devices as well as taking care of the low end very old pcs and now looking at the system monitor i have you know after running some applications like firefox app browser and a lot of stuff the memory has been hiked a little but it's okay because they you know a few applications are already running in the background for example if i open firefox then it will open instantly or if i do that with app store then it will also open instantly or else the ram usage would have been lower than we can see right now and i believe that was it for today's video because right now ubuntu is still in the beta channel and that is why there are not much updates as we should see right now and along with that said i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel unconsistently and i'll meet you next video till then i'm signing out